Hey guys, it's Mike with Mark Metrics, and today we're gonna to do a video that takes a look at some of the food and beverage industry applications for the Mark Metrics all-in-one ramen system. So we have our application specialist Barat here with us today. He's gonna to help us take some spectra of different food items, different drinks, and you know what? Thanksgiving is right around the corner, so uh, we're gonna do some Thanksgiving themed food this time. That's all coming up in this video. All right, thanks Mike. Uh, so we have some uh, carrots, some sweet potato, uh, some turkey and my favorite, uh, some wine uh, that we can look at using ramen spectroscopy. So we're looking for nutritional content specifically in the carrots and the sweet potato. We're looking at the skin, the fat and the, the proteins in the flesh of the turkey. And we're looking at the alcohol and the sugar content in uh, the white wines. So we just cut off a little piece of sweet potato and I'm gonna measure uh, the inside of the sweet potato. From the information that you see here, from the ramen spectrum of the sweet potato, uh, you can see these two peaks belong to carotene and is usually used to identify the nutritional content of the sweet potato. These other peaks belong to different sugars in the sweet potato and uh, it can be used for quality assurance or uh, determining the, the nutritional content and the freshness of the sweet potato. Next, we're gonna chop up the carrot. Taking Raman spectra of a carrot or a sweet potato is super easy. There's barely any sample prep. I chopped up the, the vegetables and all I need to do is take a measurement by touching the, uh, the, the probe to the carrot and I get another spectrum from the carrot within a couple seconds. I can overlay the spectra of the sweet potato on the carrot and you see these two bands that are common in both the carrots and the sweet potato are from the carotene itself. So to measure the Raman spectrum of the turkey, we're gonna use a different probe and I'm gonna show you how e easy it is to, to swap out the probe. And there we go. Uh, this next probe is a long focal distance probe where we don't have to touch the turkey to get the Raman spectrum. Uh, we don't contaminate the turkey, we don't contaminate our optic as well. Here is the Raman spectra of a turkey skin and uh, there's a lot of information that's contained in the turkey skin. Uh, specifically, I want to point out uh, that peak right there and that peak right there. And uh, that peak, those peaks or the intensity of those peaks actually correlate to the toughness of the turkey and the freshness of the turkey. So here's the spectrum of the, the fat of the turkey. You, you can notice that this region has gone up because it has a lot of uh, hydrocarbons. The fat has a lot of hydrocarbons and that's where uh, the, that's the part of the Raman spectrum where you start seeing that. Uh, these are again the, the slight amount of protein bands, uh, but the ratio of the fat to the protein bands has changed since the last spectrum. Here I've overlaid the, the two. In the green is the spectrum that was just collected from the fat. In the yellow is the spectrum that was collected from the skin of the turkey. And again, just to, to focus, uh, the green has a lot more CH coming from the fat compared to the yellow, uh, which is coming from the skin. So the fat has a lot more of the CH. Now we move on to my favorite part, the wine. And taking a measurement of the wine is very easy. Uh, we have a, a, a different probe called a flow cell where you can flow the wine through the flow cell and you can measure different components of this wine. Uh, alternately, you can actually use any of the ball probes, the touch or the non-touch ball probe to basically get the same information. And again, swapping the, the probe is uh, as easy as disconnecting the old probe and connecting the flow cell. We're gonna flow the, uh, the wine using syringes so we can we have a syringe adapter on our flow cells or a lure lock that we can directly like connect the syringes to. And we can just connect it and flow this, the liquid through the flow cell. 
again, Raman spectroscopy requires zero sample prep, so I can just get the wine out in a syringe, plug it in, squeeze the syringe through, and take a measurement. Here it is. Uh, so these peaks that you're seeing belong to the ethanol in the Chardonnay. So the higher the alcohol peaks, the, the more it's fermented, so you'll actually find lower sugar peaks. This is actually these small little peaks in the baseline. All right guys, a big thanks to Barat for helping out with this video. We'll be seeing a lot more of him in the near future. This was meant to be a fun video, but it was also meant to be informational. You know, we want you guys to understand that you can use the Mark Metrics All-in-One as a really powerful tool in the food and beverage industry. Whether you're measuring solids like the vegetables or the turkey or liquids like this wine here, you can extract a lot of information really easily with this powerful tool. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. We hope you learned something and have a great Thanksgiving. Be sure to follow our social media pages to learn more about Mark Metrics and our unique approach to process ramen. If you have any questions, check out our website or send us an email. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more ramen content, and thanks for watching.